so I'm going to talk about an experiment we made to assess the use of supplementary material to improve uh, genomic variant discovery. So uh, the screening of the literature is of major importance when you want to um, interpret clinical variant, but for about half of the variant, you will fi not find anything in the literature in the abstract or full text. And one of the reasons is that the variants are not mentioned in the full text, but rather in the supplementary material that are associated with publication. So um, the objective of our experiment is to um, explore the impact that uh, using the supplementary material would uh, have to uh, retrieve relevant documents for genomic variant. So for this experiment, we used Varium, uh, which is a high re recall search engine that we developed uh, at uh, the Swiss Institute of Bioinformatics. And this search engine is uh, dedicated to support the curation of uh, genomic variant. So this search engine is based on uh, the CIB literature services. Um, and uh, we are using four of the collection of the CIB literature services. So the collection are Medline, uh, PubMed Central, clinical trials, and the new collection that have been added is the supplementary data. So for the supplementary data, uh, we are in the test phase, uh, so that we don't have the whole collection yet, but we have now 800,000 uh, articles, which corresponds to about 20% of all PMC articles, and in total it's uh, about 4 million files. So we have uh, several files for each uh, document, and we mainly process tables and uh, images. And for the moment, the 20% of articles selected are mainly focused on variants. We also use the benchmark. So the benchmark uh, that we, um, we are using uh, is based on two uh, benchmarks. One is uh, based on LoveD database, and it's BRCA1 and BRCA2 variants. So we have 800 uh, single nucleotide polymorphism. And the second variant is a random selection of uh, 1,000 uh, single nucleotide polymorphisms from ClinVar. So on the um, uh, right of the screen, you have a few examples of the, the benchmark, and the whole benchmark are available on Zenodo. So the experiment we are doing is quite simple. We started to query Viome uh, with these uh, 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 1,800 queries. Uh, using the baseline uh, setting. So the baseline setting was to query in Medline and uh, PMC, so abstract and full text, and to see the documents that are retrieved, the queries that we get uh, documents. And we do the same with uh, the supplementary data settings. So in this case, we query only in the supplementary data index, and we compare the document and the queries that were answered. So the first... Um, Observation is that if you are using the baseline settings, we have no uh, document retrieved for about half of the queries, so for 907 queries. So the first question we, um, uh, the first, our first question was, for how many of these 900 queries do we find something in the supplementary material? And the answer is uh, for uh, 571. So we uh, uh, strongly reduce the, silence, uh, the silent queries. The second question is uh, what proportion of the document retrieved in supplementary material were not retrieved when using the baseline settings? So what proportion of these documents are novel? Uh, so we uh, look at what, we were, what was retrieved using the baseline. So in the baseline, we retrieve on average four documents per query. When using the supplementary material, we retrieve, on average, six documents per query. And if we look at the overlap uh, between the, uh, the both settings, we see that we have less than one document in common. So most documents retrieved in the supplementary material were not retrieved when uh, using only the full text. So we more than double the number of documents retrieved per query. So uh, it's good to retrieve more documents, but the question is, are these documents uh, relevant? Are they really about the variant that uh, was in the query? So to uh, answer this question, we did a manual, manual analysis. So we selected a random uh, sample of 41 documents, and we manually assessed if these documents were relevant or not. And uh, we found out that 63% of the documents uh, are relevant, so are about the variant of the query. 
On the bottom of the screen, you have an example of a um, uh, wrong document, so a document that was not relevant. So for instance, if we search for uh, the variant uh, R332Q in BRCA1, one of its synonyms is the, um, the variant that is uh, in, uh, in green here, and you see that it's matching another gene. So uh, the problem in, in, um, in supplementary data is often that you have large file of variants, so you have more risk to mismatch the, to, to match the variant to another gene. And finally, we um, observed the distribution of the clinical significance uh, among the variants that were retrieved in uh, abstract and full text versus the variants that were retrieved only in the supplementary data. So we can see that we have um, much more uh, variant of unknown significance in the supplementary data, but uh, the proportion of pathogenic versus uh, Benin um, variants is quite... Um, um, is not strongly uh, the, um, different between both uh, data sets. So we have half of pathogenic and half of Benin. So to conclude, uh, the supplementary material uh, can play a, a critical role for the curation of genomic variant. It more than double the number of documents that are retrieved for, for a variant. Most of the documents retrieved are new, and it significantly reduces the queries for which we find no uh, document which is very important for rare variants where uh, any document uh, is of importance. But it also raised some challenges. In particular, uh, when we are treating with uh, images, um, we are doing optical character recognition and it's uh, prone to normalization errors. And also um, the supplementary data contain hundreds of variants which uh, increase the risk of uh, match a variant with a wrong gene. Um, to finish, uh, you have here a few links if you would like to test Vario. Uh, just a warning that we are updating the index in the following days. Um, you can also uh, test Sinva, which is behind uh, Vario and enables to increase the recall by uh, recognizing more um, uh, G, uh, variants names. And the SIB literature services, which uh, also uh, provide access to the supplementary data, but not only for the genetic variants. And finally, you have here two uh, of our publication about Varium. The last one is about uh, this presentation. So to finish, I would like to thank uh, the funding and all the people that contributed uh, to this project and, of course, the team, uh, um, the, the CIP text mining group. Thank you very much. Hi, thanks a lot. So uh, nearly half of what you are finding in the supplementary data is, is wrong following the, the, the secondary validation. So I was wondering, uh, would, would you be thinking about uh, having a match of these findings against an external database like Juas Catalog or, or ClinVar or something like that, just to double check whatever reported in supplementary data was correct? Because normally people are... Uh, putting interesting findings in the main text. So it's not uh, surprising that uh, they are putting in the supplementary whatever has been non-significant and, and so on. So have you been thinking about having this external layer of validation for supplementary data, data mining? Yes, it's, we, we didn't do it yet. We are, uh, it's a new experiment, so we don't have um, uh, explored this yet. Um, but uh, about the fact that uh, what is in supplementary data is less important, um, it's also when you have negative results, so if a variant is, uh, it's, uh, is not uh, pathogenic, you will more likely not publish it uh, in the full text, but it's still an important information to know that the variant is uh, Benin.